Modern warfare is no longer defined by a single weapon or platform. Today, power comes from integration, how sensors, electronic warfare, and weapons work together as one system. In Iran's case, this approach is often described as an iron triangle, the tight integration of indigenous radar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and missile forces. Together, these elements form the backbone of Iran's defensive and deterrent strategy. In this video, we break down how this triangle works, why it matters, and what it reveals about Iran's evolving military doctrine. The idea behind the Iron Triangle is simple but powerful. No single component dominates. Instead, effectiveness comes from coordination. Radar systems detect and track threats. Electronic warfare disrupts and confuses enemy sensors. Missiles provide the kinetic response. By linking these three elements, Iran aims to compensate for limitations in air power with a networked, ground-based defense structure that is resilient and flexible. Radar is the first side of the triangle, over the years, Iran has invested heavily in domestically developed radar systems, ranging from short-range tactical radars to long-range early warning platforms. These radars are designed to detect low-altitude and stealthy targets, operate across multiple frequency bands, and remain functional under electronic attack. Mobile deployment is a key feature. Many systems are vehicle-mounted, allowing rapid relocation and reducing vulnerability to preemptive strikes. Electronic warfare, or EW, is the least visible, but arguably the most disruptive component of the Iron Triangle. Iran's EW capabilities focus on radar jamming and deception, GPS and navigation disruption, and communication interference. Rather than attempting to completely blind an opponent, EW systems are often used to degrade accuracy and delay response times, creating openings for missile engagement. This layered disruption increases the effectiveness of otherwise conventional weapons. The final side of the triangle is Iran's missile arsenal. This includes short- and medium-range ballistic missiles, cruise missiles for low-altitude penetration, and precision-guided systems with improved accuracy. Missiles are deployed on mobile launchers and integrated into command networks that receive targeting data from radar and reconnaissance assets. The goal is rapid engagement with minimal exposure time. What makes the Iron Triangle effective is integration. Radar detects the threat, EW systems shape the battle space, and missiles deliver the response. This integration allows faster decision-making, reduced reliance on centralized command, and continued operation, even if one component is degraded. Exercises and public demonstrations suggest Iran prioritizes redundancy and decentralization, ensuring that no single failure collapses the system. From a strategic perspective, the Iron Triangle strengthens deterrence by increasing uncertainty for potential adversaries. An attacker must account for detection by multiple radar layers, interference from EW systems, and rapid missile retaliation. This uncertainty raises the cost of escalation and complicates operational planning even for technologically advanced forces. Iran's Iron Triangle is not about technological dominance in any one field. It is about systems thinking, linking radar, electronic warfare, and missiles into a cohesive defensive architecture. In modern conflict, integration often matters more than individual performance. And through its indigenous Iron Triangle, Iran is betting that coordination, resilience, and adaptability will remain key pillars of deterrence in the years ahead.